And then I said, Superman wearing armor. What is this? Image Comics, circa the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jimbo. Very commendable. Very commendable, Jimbo. <laughs> oh, hello there. I'm Lord Jimsical. And I'm Chris Medical Birth. And you're watching a Christmas special of You Have Issues. A program all about comics. Christmas is a time for giving and helping your fellow man. Or oh, woman. And for some, a time of redemption. So what better way to celebrate this lovely season by delving into a DC Universe classic? You Have Issues presents A DC Universe Christmas. A DC Universe Christmas is a 2001 trade paperback collecting various Christmas-themed tales spanning the various ages of DC Comics, as well as each tale taking place in various parts of the DC Universe. Most importantly, everyone is shown getting in on the Christmas spirit. Interestingly, the cover is drawn to look like a big present with all the trimmings. And if that doesn't bring out the Christmas cheer in you, then, well, then I guess you're somebody who doesn't celebrate Christmas. The inside of this collection doesn't disappoint either, with many a tale of Christmas goodness starring all your favourite characters in the DC Universe, from Superman and Batman to the Legion of Superheroes and even Enemy Ace. This being an anthology collection, it reprints various issues that were published around the Christmas period, but also reprints a few DC Universe Christmas anthology specials, such as DC Universe Holiday Bash, Christmas with the Superheroes, and Superstar Holiday Special. So this makes this a set of anthology comics within an anthology comic. No, I'm not doing an Inception pun. But if you can think of a good one, leave a comment! Some of my favourite stories from this collection include a brilliant one set on Apocalypse, where one of Darkseid's lackeys reports that an intruder has landed in their complex, bypassed all the security, and is making his way to Darkseid's private chambers. Who could it be? Of course, it's none other than Father Christmas, who promptly gives Darkseid a lump of coal for being such a naughty boy. A fitting punishment for a genocidal megalomaniac like Darkseid. Another great story is one that features enemy Ace and is called Silent Night, which takes place at a military hospital during the Great War. Several pilots are missing, supplies are running low, and some of the pilots in the hospital are too traumatised to enjoy the festivities. Enemy Ace flies in with some food for the pilots and staff, but not everyone is pleased to see him. This story is particularly good because it contains no dialogue, no sound effects and no narration whatsoever, just images with all the emotions in the story shown through the character's facial expressions and body language. Very refreshing. Another favourite short story is called Alone for the Holidays, which follows Tim Drake while he's flying solo on patrol on Christmas Eve. Batman is away for reasons unknown, and Tim's family won't make it to Gotham before Christmas Day, so Tim is deliberating how to spend Christmas. Oracle calls him to an emergency, only for it to be a ruse to get him to attend a surprise Christmas party. Oh, Oracle, what are you like? Another standout tale is an eye for detail starring Batlash. In this story, the lovable western rogue saves a family at Christmas from a group of evil gunslingers. He had an ulterior motive though, to kiss a beautiful girl under the mistletoe. As mentioned earlier on in the video, these tales have been compiled from over 70 years of DC Comics publication. This means you have stories featuring Superman from the Golden Age, Teen Titans from the Silver Age, and some post-crisis stories such as Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy going on a shopping spree at the expense of a mind-controlled Bruce Wayne. That last one we just mentioned was also adapted in an episode of Batman the Animated Series called Holiday Nights. We also reviewed that in our Christmas special last year, and the segment in question was called Harley and Ivy. Yeah. Do you get it? Like, Holly and Ivy? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one, Jimbo. That's a good one. <laughs> Generally, the stories are all rather heartwarming and full of Christmas cheer. The stories range from cutesy family time with Superman to downright weird stuff like in this Golden Age Wonder Woman story where her attempt to reunite a family for Christmas is aided by a talking tree that only she can hear. Any weirdness in this era shouldn't be surprising because attitudes and writing were very different in the 1940s but that still doesn't mean it stands out, it's just plain odd. A recurring theme in these stories is having people dressed up as Santa Claus in order to aid petty crime. A bunch of crooks plan to rob a store at Christmas time and plant an ex-con as their resident Santa. Batman, as usual, is onto them, but doesn't count on Santa's help, as the ex-con has a change of heart and redeems himself because of all the children and store staff that were nice to him. Conversely, in this Sandman tale from the Golden Age, a group of crooks hire an amateur wrestler to pose as Santa to commit a similar crime. Disguising yourself as one of the most famous figures associated with Christmas isn't the smartest thing to do if you don't want to get caught. 
in the story, no Bart, there is no Santa, hyperactive child speedster from the future, Bart Allen, gets far too excited with all the Christmas festivities. When mentor Max Mercury proves to him that Santa doesn't exist, Bart comes to the conclusion that Santa has been kidnapped, and decides to fill in for him. Though in most of the other stories in this collection, crime seems to have taken a back seat during Christmas in the DC Universe, as most of the heroes that are on patrol are shown to be bored senseless. Superboy even has time to pop over to the 30th century to spend Christmas with the Legion of Superheroes. Overall, it's a lovely and cheerful collection of Christmas tales which deserves to be taken out every festive season to be read and enjoyed. Thank you for watching this Christmas special of You Have Issues. I'm Lord Jimsical. And I'm Chris Malik of Earth. And we wish you a very Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. That's right, people.